Unlike Apple's Magic Keyboard, this keyboard can connect with up to three more devices. So you can connect it to your phone for typing, or to another laptop, or to another tablet. I mean, just like any wireless keyboard that can connect with more devices, so can this keyboard. And to enable this, you can go into your keyboard settings and then start pairing your new devices. And you can easily switch from your tablet to your laptop or from your tablet to the phone by simply pressing the function and the tab key. There's also multi-control. So let's say you've got the Galaxy Book 2 or the Book 2 Pro laptop from Samsung. You can pretty much transfer a file by just picking up a file from here and dropping it onto the tablet. And of course, you can do it the other way around as well. Also, you can freely move your cursor from your Windows laptop to your Android tablet just like that. And when you do so, the keyboard control also switches to wherever your cursor is. So if your cursor is on the laptop, the keyboard input is to the laptop. And if your cursor is on the tablet, then the keyboard input is to the tablet. But of course, how fast your files get transferred or how lag-free the experience is between the two devices totally depends on your Wi-Fi speed and your Wi-Fi router. Now the Tab S8 or the S8 Plus or the S8 Ultra is also a great piece of tech to keep on the side of your table or on the side of your bed, like that. While charging, it can display the current date and time like a calendar. You can use it as a scratch pad to quickly take down something. You can just use it to control your speakers and play the music you like. Or if nothing else, just use it as a live album displaying photos from your last vacation trip to keep you going insane at work. Now obviously, you can make your notes while you're watching an informational video or a tutorial video or just researching an article. But you're often crunched for space, especially if you want to type or write a lot. But with the Tab S8 or the S8 Ultra, you could overlay your note on top of the video and just make use of a larger space without compromising your video watching experience. Just make sure you open both apps in pop-up view, overlay your notes app on top, and then tap here to reduce its opacity. And just reduce as much as you need to ensure that your video is visible well enough and then just start taking notes. Next, I can use the Tab S8 Ultra as a power bank. It's got more than 11,000 mAh battery and that's enough to charge my S22 more than three times. And of course, I can also charge other devices like my wearables such as earphones. Now, on the Tab S8 or the Plus or the Ultra, you can rearrange multiple apps and use them simultaneously. For example, I've got YouTube running over here, I've got my Gmail opened up and I've got YouTube Music so I could be doing all of those three together. And it's really easy to move them and fit them in a way that's best suited for you. For example, when I'm searching, I generally have some article opened up on the left, note taking app on the right, and then some action points in my to-do app of choice. You could be watching a video, taking notes, and having a video call with someone at work. And you know, I really like the fact that I can use function keys to launch my favorite apps really quick. For example, I could just tap F1 to go to Samsung Notes. I can then tap on F2 to go to Notion and I could go to F3 to go to my favorite to-do app really quick. And lastly, with the Tab S8, you can quickly share your tablet experience with anyone on a large screen. Let's say you're shopping for furniture. So you could sit with your girlfriend, your wife or parents and have a more comfortable experience. Or you could quickly project your presentation on a smart TV in the meeting room without any cables. Or you could just be looking at some photos and videos that you took of a recent vacation and show it to your friends on the big TV. All you have to do is be on the same Wi-Fi network as your smart TV and then enable second screen and select your TV from the list and that's it. Next, let's say I'm using Samsung Dex on the tablet. Then I can hit the top left corner to open the notification tray, hit the top right corner to take a screenshot, the bottom left to go back to the home screen and the bottom right to simply turn the screen off. And all of this can be used while I'm on Dex mode. You can configure this quite easily under the accessibility settings. You can set whatever action you want for any of the corners and you can go through this list and see which actions make the most sense for you and not just the ones that I have shown you here. Next, the Tab S8, the Plus or the Ultra is easily the most useful secondary display to hook up to your Windows laptop or PC. It's super easy to set up and works quite well. You can see how seamless it is to take one active window from my laptop to the tablet. I can reorganize and position windows and to top it all up, it is still a touchscreen. Now surely, there's a bit of an insignificant lag, so you can't be gaming or video editing on it, but it's really nothing for most regular kind of office work. I mean, if you plan to buy a secondary display, which was as portable as this and of this size, that would be quite expensive. But the Tab S8 or the S8 Ultra, they already have that. 
All right, that's it guys. Those were a few cool things that you can do with the Tab S8, the S8 Plus, and the S8 Ultra. Now, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And as always, if you did enjoy watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon, and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.